Pythagoras or Pythagoras is a philosopher and mathematician whom we all know, who lived in Ionia in the 500s and 400s BC. He is also known as the father of numbers for his work in the field of mathematics. The Pythagorean theorem that we hear most and see in schools belongs to him. According to Pythagoras, there are two arches, the main substance of the universe. The first is peros, which means limited, and the second is a pyron, which means unlimited. He sees the limited matter, which he calls peros, as fire, and the unlimited matter, which we know as a pyron from Anaximander, as air. Thus, he became the first philosopher to think of Archie as two substances. Pythagoras and his students believed that mathematical relations were the basis of all reality and that mathematics governed everything. According to Pythagoras, numbers were sacred and every Everything could be measured and predicted thanks to mathematics. Now let's talk about what meanings Pythagoras attributed to which numbers in his number teaching. We can equate the number one with existence, or we can say that it forms the basis of existence. He says that God's unknowability and infinity are one with existence. He identifies the world that comes into existence with the disintegration of this unity with the number two. We can also think of this as creating nature or life. The number three represents consciousness, and the number four represents justice. The number five symbolizes marriage, the number six symbolizes vitality and the continuity of lineages. The number seven has dominant roles in the lives of beings. We characterize critical times with the number seven. The number eight represents mind, virtue, and morality. The number nine, like four, represents justice. Finally, the number 10 is the principle and guide of life. It states that it is the basis of all numbers. Pythagoras is the first person in history to call himself a philosopher. According to him, there are three types of people, those who seek material things, those who seek fame, and those who seek knowledge. Among these three groups, he saw himself as a philosopher. In other words, a person who pursues knowledge, tries to understand the universe and his environment, and thinks. The Pythagorean school had strict rules. His students believed that his teachings were prophecies of the gods. They saw the school as a place where a person reaches his soul and explained the concept of soul with Orpheism. According to Orpheism, the soul passes from body to body. The body is the prison of the soul and therefore the soul must be freed from the body. Pythagoras' influence and image were astounding. The students he raised would never fail to obey him. They had rules about what to eat, what to wear even how to pee. The Pythagorean school is also described as a sect due to its strict rules and prohibitions. For example, they did not eat meat because they thought that a human soul could also pass into an animal body. Pythagoras and his students believed that the soul should be developed and purified. Pythagoras thought that this would only be possible by doing philosophy. Yes, friends, we got to know Pythagoras briefly, of course. Days are not enough to understand and learn his works. Bye to see you in another video.